It's been a heavy debate going on around the NHL community and its fan bases on whether or not the NHL should proceed with a June 2020 NHL entry draft. Now, there are many different opinions arguing for it, arguing against it. You can find those in other media outlets. This is not the video for that. This video is going to focus specifically on the Vancouver Canucks and what Pierre Lebrun said in regards to the Canucks and this upcoming draft. Now, if you've been following the channel for a while, you'd know that there was an NHL memorandum that was sent out to all 31 NHL teams that highlights what the NHL wants to do for the upcoming draft. It highlights that they want to do it in June and that they're going to make some changes to the NHL lottery system that's in place. However, Another thing that is actually discussed is the possibility of conditional draft picks, because the Canucks first round pick in 2020 is up in the air right now. So far, the Canucks 2020 first round pick belongs to the New Jersey Devils. The Canucks traded that pick to the Tampa Bay Lightning in the JT Miller trade. The Lightning traded that pick to the Devils in exchange for Blake Coleman. However, there is indeed a condition on that pick. The condition goes as follows. If the Vancouver Canucks make the playoffs in 2020, then New Jersey will receive the Canucks 2020 first. However, if the Canucks do not make the playoffs in 2020, they keep their 2020 first, and instead, the Canucks 2021 first automatically goes to New Jersey, no questions asked. If the Canucks make the playoffs this season, then boom. It's all said and done, the Canucks' first round pick this season goes to New Jersey. But there's a little bit of a debate going on, because if the NHL draft goes on in June, then that could tinker with how the Canucks' conditions are actually going to fare. The Canucks aren't technically in the playoffs right now, and if the draft happens in June, the playoffs might not even be in effect. So... That tinkers with the idea on how the Canucks are going to actually give up a draft pick to the New Jersey Devils that they were supposed to give up in that JT Miller trade. This is what Pierre Lebrun said on Twitter a few days ago that got Canucks fans really, really argumentative with each other, let's just say. He would say, The Canucks are among the teams that may have warmed up to the June draft idea if it means following the proposed layout in Friday's NHL memo. The Canucks would much rather give up a non-lottery first-round pick to New Jersey now than an unprotected first-round pick next season. What this means is, if you go off of the points percentage, yes, the Vancouver Canucks are in the playoffs, and if you use that as your determining factor on whether or not the conditions are going to be met, it means that the Canucks would need to give up this year's first round pick to New Jersey instead of next year's. And according to Pierre Lebrun, he believes that the Canucks would rather do that than use up the pick next season. Now, a lot of Canucks fans, myself included at first, looked at this and said, okay, why? That doesn't really make sense. This year's draft is better than 2021's draft. Next year's draft is worse, and the Canucks are apparently going to be better next season, right? So why would they want to give up the draft pick for this season when they have a chance of getting a better player than they would if they kept their draft pick for next season? You would much rather keep the pick that is more valuable to you, right? And in this situation, taking a look at the 2020 draft versus the 2021 draft, it would be a little bit more apparent that the first round pick in 2020 in the 17-18 range of a barely making the playoffs Vancouver Canucks team is more valuable than the first round pick of a guaranteed playoff contender in the Vancouver Canucks next season, which happens to be a weaker draft, right? Well, there's more than meets the eye to that idea. There's much more than meets the eye to that idea. Because... Sure, on paper, the Canucks are supposed to be better next season than they were this season. Next season is going to be the plus one of what we had this season in Petey and Hughes and Miller, right? But that's not guaranteed. What the Canucks are looking for in this situation is insurance. It's the guarantee that they will be giving up the pick that is the least valuable when all is said and done. And at the moment... That pick is this season's pick. 
Sure, this year's draft may be more talented, and sure the Canucks are supposed to be better next year, but can you really say that with all the factors the Vancouver Canucks have going against them for next season? The reason I say that is because this season was kind of perfect if you take a look at it in a very specific kind of way. Chris Tanev didn't get injured. Elias Pettersson played all the games. JT Miller didn't get injured either, and we found the best scenario in a debuting rookie in Quinn Hughes. Next season, we may not have Tyler Toffoli. We may not have Jacob Markstrom. We may not have a full season of Pedersen, or Brock Besser, or JT Miller, or Hughes. The sophomore slump may come to bite these guys, and if the Vancouver Canucks don't even have Jacob Markstrom, then can we rely on Thatcher Demko to become a full number one starter immediately? This team, this past season, with Jacob Markstrom, who is a Vesna caliber goaltender at his best, is still a bubble team. So, with this in mind, is it really safe to say that the Vancouver Canucks next season are 100% guaranteed to do better? Sure, it would be a very educated guess to say, yeah, Petey's gonna do better, Hughes is gonna do better, Miller's gonna do better, but can you really say that with 110% certainty, bearing no injuries, and bearing that the team even looks the same next year? We may not have Markstrom, nor Toffoli, no Tanev, maybe not even a Vertanen or a Gaudet. There are many names that have the potential of not being on the Canucks next season, and that is why there is uncertainty for where the Canucks will finish next year. It's why the Vancouver Canucks would much rather give up a pick this year, where they know they're going to probably make the playoffs, where they know it's not going to be a lottery pick, than waste, let's just say, a season next year where somebody takes an injury that sidelines them for the entire year, Markstrom is not as good as he was last season, even if he stays, and the Canucks all of a sudden are worse, and they give up a pick that ends up being a lottery pick, and they win the top three. That's unlikely, but it's possible. Look at San Jose. Nobody thought the Sharks would do this terribly this season. With Brent Burns and Eric Carlson on your team, how could you do so poorly to finish third last in the league? But they did, and their first round pick belongs to Ottawa. They are screwed, the San Jose Sharks are. They have one of the worst U21 cores in the entire NHL. They have aging players like Burns and Carlson, and they're one of the worst teams in the league, statistically speaking. On paper, they're not supposed to be this bad, but they were this bad. And the Vancouver Canucks don't want to risk something similar happening to them next year and end up giving what is supposed to be a very, very good draft pick to the New Jersey Devils in the process. They'd much rather give it up for this season where they know where it's going to be, they know the range and where it's going to be, and they know that it's not going to be a lottery pick. So that's kind of the perspective to combat the Vancouver Canucks wanting to keep their pick this season. I know it's kind of weird for me to be saying that because throughout the past calendar year, I've been saying I'd want to keep the 2021st. I want that 2021st round pick because this year's draft is so good. There are talents in the top 30 of this draft that could have been top 15 in other drafts. And to me, the top 10 of 2020 is so above and beyond the top 10 of drafts we've had in the past, like 2019, 2018, 2017, 2016. This draft is supposed to be good. And I have craved a player from this draft ending up on the Vancouver Canucks for so long. But now taking a look at where the Canucks are, where they could be next season, and how the Canucks would much rather use the safe bet in getting rid of a pick today than getting rid of a pick next season, where they're not even guaranteed to be doing as well as they did this season next season in a similar way that the Sharks did, I'm starting to understand why it's a little bit better of a decision to let New Jersey take the pick this year. Which is why, in Pierre Lebrun's opinion, the Canucks would be open to having a June draft, because if the conditions are renegotiated, etc., then the Vancouver Canucks, by point percentage, are in the playoffs, and they would much rather give up that pick this year than next. 
So that's my little TED talk here today. I need to get up to date on all these Vancouver Canucks news because there's so much stuff coming out recently. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you think about my analysis. Do you agree, disagree? If you don't agree, then why? I hope you enjoyed this video. Sure, that's Ross 99. And bye.